I am John McLaughlin and this is another one of my video tips of the week. Now if you use Joomla 1.5 for your website then this video is for you because in this week's video tip I'm going to show you how to position a module inside of an article making your site look and perform better for your site users and visitors. Let's get started. Just to give you an example of what I mean if we look at this uh, website here and we scroll down a little bit further we can see that on the front page uh, it's an article and it just uh, outlines what the website is all about. Now a little bit further down here you can see that there is a module here uh, inside of an article called quote of the day and what this uh, module does is it changes every day with a different message but as you notice this is inside of an article uh, so that makes it appealing for site visitors and it also makes your website a little bit more interesting than the usual now if this module had been put in the usual position it would have been put in one of these boxes so in the dojo and member login so it would have been along there but putting it inside of an article makes it a lot more appealing so let's just show you how to do that so the best way to illustrate the process is to add a module to an article that is just text at the moment so we're going to click on this 90 day challenge article and as you can see lots of text there. What I want to do, I want to add a poll just after the word poll, just there, just in this position here. So firstly log into your administrator area, click on extensions and then click on module manager. To find the poll module either type in poll in the filter here and click go and that will come up with it or you can scroll down and find it in the pages. So we just found it, it's just there, look. So just click on there and that's going to open the administration page of the poll. Now if you look at the positions on here you'll see that you've got lots of different positions that relate to your template. Now what you want to do to uh, put this module inside the article that we want, we're going to put in there, we're going to type in there a position that doesn't exist. So what we want to do is put in challenge. Challenge in there. And then we're going to go over and click on save. We're going to go back to Article Manager, and what we'll do we're going to filter this one. So we're going to put um, Challenge, and that's going to bring up that article, or maybe a few articles relating to Challenge. There it is 90 Day Challenge. So to install the poll in this article, all we need to do is go down to where if we want to position it, and we want to position it after where it says Poll. I'm going to click on there and click Enter a couple of times. Now the poll will be positioned wherever our cursor is. And the code we need to put in is as follows. We need to put in the curved bracket um, followed by load position. Then a space and then the name of your position. So in my case I've named the position challenge. So this is what I'm going to enter. I'm going to enter the curved bracket followed by load position with a space followed by challenge. and then another curved bracket. I want to click on apply this time so it's going to leave the page open. And we're going to do we're going to go back to our front end and we're going to click on refresh. Now as you can see after the where it says poll, now we've got the position of the uh, poll just in there. And again that makes it quite nice. It's quite nice looking. There's a little, maybe a little bit of space under here, so all we're going to do from there is go back to the admin page and where we have this little bit of space here. We're just going to click on there and just click delete maybe a couple of times just so we're happy with the position. We'll go back up, we'll click apply when it keeps the page open. We'll go back to the front end, we'll click refresh. Okay, so just to recap, we go to our administrator panel, we go to extensions, we go to module manager, we then click on poll or whatever module you want to use and we then create another position that doesn't exist so we create a position. We go over to save, that saves the position we then go over to our content, article manager we can filter in the name of the article, click on the article and then we go down and we insert the code into the position where we want the module to be. The code to put in there is curved bracket, load position, space, and then followed by the name of the module position that you're given it, followed by the curvy bracket again. And that's going to insert the module in an article. 
And if that process doesn't work for you, there's one thing that you need to check. And if you go back to your control panel in Administrator, and go to Extensions and Plugin Manager. Now this is the most common cause of this thing not working. And if you go to the plugin that says Content Load Module, and just make sure that's enabled. If it's not enabled, then this actually won't work. My name's John McLaughlin, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. To see more video tips like this, you can visit my website at www.johnmclaughlin.com.